What's up? What's good? What's hood? And what is life? Taurus, how y'all bees in the trap? Okay, I will be doing you guys' love reading this month. So this is going to go out for couples, singles, partners, situationships, you know, and everything else in between. So let's see, guys, what is going on in your love life. Um, what is going on in regards to love at all whatsoever for Taurus. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, yeah, this kind of sounds like last time. Yeah, this definitely sounds like last time. So, Taurus, if y'all remember last time I told y'all, a whole lot of y'all aren't even thinking about love. Like, y'all are not with the shit. Y'all are focusing on yourselves. Y'all is focusing on money, career, finance, and all that, right? So, look, lover's card came here out in the reverse. Um, Again, y'all not thinking about love. <laughs> like, y'all moment-to-moment card here is in the reverse as well. Y'all is not thinking about love. And then you have the clinging to the past card. Now, I know I didn't really get to you guys in February, so... So this could probably be energy transferring over from February, but a lot of y'all are clinging to the past emotionally, so your harmony card is in the reverse, so y'all are just not, it's not happening, y'all are not in alignment when it comes to love at all whatsoever, and it's not, no, okay, traveling card here is in the reverse, action, no action is being taken to a person, um, a situation or anything like that, y'all are just not for the shits, but y'all are at least not controlling the situation, y'all are kind of just letting it happen whenever it happens, how it happens, but you all do need to learn to integrate the lessons from before. So what about the past relationships or experiences that you have had that you don't want to repeat? Or is it possibly that you guys are fearing that, you know, it, it is going to be the same crap all over again? But whatever, however, um, just learn to take your lessons so that you're not repeating them in the next relationship, right? Okay, Taurus, so you guys have personal growth. So as I was saying, a lot of y'all are not worried about love at all whatsoever because a lot of y'all been through it. And y'all just want to get yourself together. Like, literally, keep <laughs> yourself together and boss up and floss up the way that y'all know how to, right? So then you guys have the parenting card. Now, the parenting card talks about parenting yourself, like disciplining yourself. If you know that you're supposed to do something or if you know you ain't been on your, your shit like you're supposed to, as Tauruses usually be because y'all are like grounded earth signs and whatnot, like if that is the case, Taurus, I'm gonna need y'all to get together, okay? So communication, what is it that you want and relationship change? So you may um, be having a change, obviously, within your relationship. It could possibly be going from friendships to, um, you know, from platonic to romantic or, you know, romantic to platonic or even business. Who knows, right? But the leadership card is here to tell you to take control of your life. Like whatever direction you want it to go towards is how it's going to go. But in regards to love, y'all is not here for it. I ain't even gonna count to y'all. This is not love for y'all. Because y'all are not worried about it. Y'all don't care. Y'all are just trying to boss up and floss up and focus on y'all. Oh, look. Universe says, what do you want? Whatever it is that you want, Taurus, this is the opportunity to manifest it and then work towards those goals. You know what I'm saying? And then here's delight. So honestly, I do feel like there is a love that is special for Taurus, especially the Tauruses that I'm talking about right now, because again, some of y'all have really been through it. And as I was preparing to say, okay, blessings, okay, Ganesh has y'all back. But as I was preparing to say, for this is for that group of Tauruses that's really been through it, really just been broken down. But Spirit has got y'all back so, like, heavy that it's ridiculous. Like, now y'all are in a space where y'all are just blossoming and and just growing and loving on you and evolving. Like, it's beautiful. Like, oh my God. Tori, y'all are so cute. I love it! So, but no, like, there's a special kind of love that that is deserving of you guys. Like, the work you guys are putting in, the patience that you guys have. Like, there is a love waiting for y'all. Like, it's just not right now. But... It's the person that is deserving of the Tauruses that are, you know, doing the work, healing themselves, growing and focusing on their businesses and things like that. Like that, they're going to benefit. Real talk. And then Eclipse in Aquarius, which is awakening your deeper resolve rises. So again, Taurus, this is more like a, a inner work situation. Like I think this love reading is more so about you because look, Eclipse in Sagittarius, growth, and it says success after a setback so yeah taurus in regards to love i'm actually leave it right here well bottom of the deck you got a uh, sun and virgo 
endeavor you reap what you sow so i'm gonna honestly leave it right there Taurus, because like i said this is kind of piggybacking up off of what <laughs> piggybacking off of <laughs> last month's reading where i was kind of telling you that for those of y'all that really really have just been feeling broken down by life or just spirit or just by anything this is the time when everything is just going to start beginning to move forward. There's going to have some forward momentum. There's going to be some, you know, action behind, you know, some secret admirers or just anything that is in alignment with you. So <laughs> I want to tell you that just continue to keep your head down in mind all your business because the universe got some, you know, things coming your way. And I'm pretty excited about it. So Taurus, um, I really hope this resonated with you guys and good luck. Nah, fuck that. Congratulations. Y'all doing a damn thing because for those of y'all that are really, really just blossoming, I just want to give you guys a round of applause because a lot of y'all have been through some heartache, some heartbreak, some trials, some tribulations, and damn near some things that y'all thought could have broke y'all, okay? So... Don't nobody else tell you that they're fucking proud of you guys, Taurus. I am extremely proud of you guys. And don't let this reading feel like, oh my God, I'm never going to have love. Nah, fuck that. You're doing the hard work, the, the deep work, and, and the needed, necessary work to have the ultimate partner. So, I know y'all might have been expecting something else, but Taurus, this message is actually a lot more beautiful than some regular old love reading. So, I hope that this resonates with you. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, um, share the video, and um, let me know, Taurus, if this resonates with you at all. Um, let me know if you guys possibly are interested in new love or if you guys would like want some new love readings because, like I said, this is piggybacking off of last month. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, guys. Um, I talk to y'all on Instagram, too. So, yeah. Bye, guys. I love y'all. Have a great one.